Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, will we ever meet an alien? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Sad as it is to say, it's unlikely that we'll make contact with an advanced alien civilization in our lifetimes. Boo! Why not? It's complicated. In theory, there should be lots of alien life out there. A modified version of the famous Drake equation, which examines the probability of intelligent alien life, suggests that there should be around 300,000 advanced civilizations just in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. So, where are they all? That's the big question, and it's best expressed in something called the Fermi Paradox. In a nutshell, it goes like this. There are billions of stars like our sun, many of them billions of years older than our sun. Since many of those stars have Earth-like planets, and assuming Earth is fairly typical, it follows that many of those planets should have intelligent life. But even at the slow speeds we're currently working with, the entire Milky Way could be travelled across in around one million years. So where the hell is everybody? Right, that's, that's what I just asked. So, uh, what's the answer? There are no concrete answers, but there are some extremely interesting theories. One of these is simply that intelligent life is not the norm. Consider this. Human civilization has been around for 6,000 or so years, and we've only had space travel for less than 60 of those. The dinosaurs, meanwhile, had this planet for 175 million years, and they never invented so much as a hat. It's possible that the galaxy is swarming with life, but none that's capable of communicating with us. So aliens are just dumb, huh? Sadly, dumbness is another theory, although of a different kind. Some scientists argue that when you consider how much supposedly intelligent beings like ourselves enjoy blowing each other up, it's possible most civilizations end up wiping themselves out, add in the threat of natural disasters, and maybe no civilization lasts long enough to overlap with another. That's a bummer. It is. The most intriguing theory is the one that suggests we wouldn't even recognize an alien if it was standing right in front of us. It's possible that any sufficiently advanced alien civilization might go through what's called a technological singularity. This is when an artificial superintelligence is created, spurring unimaginable technological advancement. The resulting changes to, say, humans, if we made it that far, would be almost inconceivable. Like what kind of thing? The next stage for that species could well be post-biological evolution. In simpler terms, uploading their consciousness into some other form and leaving their physical bodies behind entirely. Any species that has done this would appear to us the same way we appear to an amoeba, so far beyond our understanding that we wouldn't even register their existence, let alone be able to communicate with them. Equally, they would probably have very little interest in hanging around with us. Damn aliens, always looking down their technologically advanced noses at us. If they even have noses. Whoa. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.